There are things in this world that we just don't understand. Just don't get it. At all. And we're going to talk about it. Yeah. Are you ready? Ready. Set. Hello, I'm Ash. And I'm Lynn. And this is Only Only If You You Can Can Keep Up. Up. Okay, so we would like to start off saying, first of all, are you beatboxing over there? Maybe. Okay. We would like to start off saying that if you hear anything in the background, um, we... It might be me, because I can't sit still. (laughs) Well, there's that. But then there's also (laughs) kids and dogs and husbands and... Trains? Trains. So many trains. Yeah, there's a train track very, very close. We are and, in a home with a busy neighborhood, so there is a lot going on. And so. a full-ass family in yeah. the other room. So if you hear something, like... We did our best to soundproof, like, without, you know, going yeah. too far into it. But sometimes you're just going to hear stuff, and you're just going to have to fucking deal with it. So, <laughs> so yeah. like, but if you hear it, no, you didn't. Right, We're it just going to pretend like you didn't. It didn't happen. Exactly, because... We can't take it all out, and we're not going to tell the kids to be quiet. Like, we would never get anything done. Literally, never. Exactly. So, sorry, not sorry. Not sorry. But all right, to start off this episode, we are going to talk about things we don't understand. They probably have some kind. Things I don't understand. They probably have some kind of a good scientific backing, but I do not care how much you tell me, I don't get it. I still won't. Don't understand. Okay, we are first going to start with the moon. Oh my gosh. You know I love the moon. Oh my god, the moon. She's she's my friend. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She is, big, she is bold. She's enticing. She does amazing things to her, but the bitch be crazy. Like, what the fuck, Luna? Like, there's so much <laughs> I don't get. I love you, oh, but you god. fucking confuse me. Okay, so, so how? How? Do we see the moon in the daylight? So that's something with the sun. You know, I'm I'm not really sure. Okay, there's theories that there's actually two moons. (laughs) I can believe that more. Because, okay, like, I remember, and this is what my brain goes to. As a child, in science class, they show you it's sunny up here, it's moony down here. Right. Okay. And as you go around, the sun and moon move equally. Mm -hmm. Correct? Well, the sun stays, but... The moon moves around us while we move around the sun. Okay. But they move not together perfectly. Right. But, you it's know, orbiting us while we're orbiting the sun. So there's orbiting. constant movement. So then yeah. how come the other night I'm watching a sunset and the moon's above it? Right. That's where I get confused too. How does that make sense? The moon is light, but it's up there, but I'm watching the sunset. Right. How is that possible? And then the next night at the exact same time at sunset, the moon is behind me. Yeah. How does it make sense? Like we said, there is probably beautifully written right, scientific Like, I know it all evidence, comes down to the orbit. Like, I know we are moving, and the moon is also moving around us, but it doesn't match up. It doesn't make sense. There should be some kind of a matchy match. I'm sorry, right. but there should be some kind of a it's match. It's still so confusing. The moon, uh, something, I don't necessarily <laughs> keep doing that, <laughs> but I don't necessarily believe in the simulation theory, but some, some things. It's like, are they just like turning it off and on whenever they want my husband because i'll go on i'll go on a rant about this moon thing and he's like babe the moon is where it's supposed to be stop worrying about it and i'm like but you don't understand last night it was there and tonight it's there how does it make sense it doesn't make any sense like i need to at least try to understand but i cannot i have looked it up i have tried to do this i've tried to read about it and i get i get the orbit i get that we're in constant motion i get that position changes due to our orbit and the, the orbit of the moon but tell me why you can sometimes see it in the daylight. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's moving fast. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's not there at all. Okay, clouds, yes, but... We're talking blue clear skies here. Right. Pretend there's no clouds in the when sky. When you know it's there and you can see the entire sky, but where's the moon? It's Is, not... It, I, mm, did they turn it off? Who's they? Did they? Did they forget to put it in for the day? Right. I mean... Like, yeah, they just forget to put that little, like, They forget to element. turn it on. <laughs> right, right. I'm like, hmm, it makes me wonder, because there's theories about, you know, did we really go to the moon? 
some oh, people think it's like just a superstructure because so. I that's a whole theory we should do a <laughs> yeah. whole episode on because I have some very very strong beliefs about that yeah me too very strong we should do that we, we should okay we could do a whole episode just about the fucking moon dude. I think we should eventually eventually I think that's a good idea but I have another I have a little story a little okay. moon story. I have a story are you ready okay so we were doing like a sibling night at my parents house mm-hmm. and they have a pool we were in the backyard I was with Three of my sisters and my brother, we saw the moon, said the moon was beautiful, you know, whatever. Well, I have that, what's it called? Skylight? Star, not Stargaze, it's, it's, it's something app, like that. I paid like $10 for the thing. Yeah. And it showed, like, I can hold my phone up to the sky and it'll show me every right, star, every orbit, it every constellation. It tells you everything. Literally, like, yes. you can move it all, all yes, around. It's, it's super cool. So, first of all, we get out of the pool and I'm like, I want to go, my dad lives in the country with, you know, a nice big open field. Wide open space. Literally wide open. There's trees far off in the distance, but it's also a full moon night. And that, she was beautiful. Yeah. She was pretty. So I'm like, let's take my phone out there and let's go see. So we walk to the middle of this field, pitch black outside. Let me remind you, pitch black, open field, sky, the stars are gorgeous, beautiful. We cannot find the moon. And it's not like it was just behind a cloud because the stars were bright and it was just there. No. And you can see the whole sky. It's not like you've got a blocked view. There it's was, not... and it wasn't just me. It was right? not just me. It was me, and I think two of my sisters came out, and I don't know if my brother did. I don't remember. But we could not find the moon. It we could find the sun on that app on the other side of the right? world. We could not find the moon. But and the moon was like... wasn't even showing up on the app. No. It was not. No. And, and it, it was... picks up everything. Even yes. if the moon's behind the clouds, yes. it will pick it up. Yes. It knows it's there. And it was at, like... One o'clock in the morning. Weird. So yeah, it should have so been. it should have been right there, right. big, bright, and beautiful. Which reminder, we fuck? had seen it a few hours before. Right, it was there. Where did it go? Somebody turned it off. Yeah. Somebody said, "Nope, you're having done. electrical issues." W- there was nothing blocking any views. I mean, we saw shooting stars out right. there. Right. W- what? Looking clear for enough it. to see. Yeah. Literally. What the fuck? Isn't that crazy? Like I still that story. I still can't. I it confuses. And you the can't find anything when you me. research it. Or Absolutely like, nothing. What? Everyone like there's nothing. I found some Reddit posts that like people were like kind of agreeing with me. Yeah. Like explain the moon. Right. You know. But other than that, yeah. But it just fucking disappeared out of nowhere. Yes. <clears throat> so fucking weird, dude. Like <laughs> the moon itself. Just... It's so mysterious. And then like, am I? mesmerized by an object that's not even really like because the moon you know is connected to the tides and yeah ha- okay speaking of the tides the next thing i do not understand is the wind oh the wind is confusing. make it make sense i love the wind i it is so uh, confusing i used to like the wind a little bit but now we moved out to like the country, country. The country, country. <laughs> and um, it is so fucking Bam, windy. It is out. so windy because we don't have the houses and oh, the buildings. I love like, it. But you wouldn't love it if you can't even open your door with the door flying off the hinges. Like, it gets annoying <sighs> at some point. But that's like not the heaven. point of this. The point of this, I don't understand the wind. How can one day, one day, in one day, it can be so still, you are sweltering hot. You're sweating everywhere, and in 10 minutes, you're blowing away. Right? Like earlier today, we had storms drop in out of nowhere. How is that possible? It was like, what, 100 degrees, and then boom. Okay, I I get the temperature change because we brought the storm through. But my point is, is how, how... On a dry, still day, how the wind can just pick up out of anywhere. Literally, out of absolute like, nowhere. What actually creates that? And then, and then another thing is, is I can be in the town that we live in, like go to town and drive to a close town. My town is windy. The town right next door is not dead still. But then I go back to my town and it's windy as hell. How? How is that possible? Yeah. Like I don't yeah. understand it. It doesn't make sense. Unless it's like maybe you're in it, like. <laughs> Because the ocean... Physically speaking, maybe you're in a more of a... Like, when you go to another town, you're in more of a dip, a valley, like... Maybe it's an elevation thing, but then... Okay, you're trying to... It, does, it doesn't matter what you say. I'm not going to understand it. Like, it makes no sense to me. Make yeah. it make sense, because you can't. Yeah. Not to my crazy brain. And my thing is how it can just stop and start out of nowhere. Yeah. I'll be sitting on the porch, my wind chimes are going crazy, and then they stop. There's no storm. There's no... It's a hot day. Yeah. They'll just start up, they'll go crazy, and then they'll stop. And then it's done. Like where did that like, come from? Right. The wind is from the oceans, right? Right. Like it has to do with the tides and the moons and the winds and all of that shit is connected. I understand that. But we also don't live anywhere near an ocean. Right. We, I mean, we have a lot of lakes around, I guess, but not super close. Hmm. Got my wheels spinning. Seriously. 
Yeah, I gotta do some research. Like I mind. understand, like <laughs> if you live on a coast, right. hell yeah, you gonna be windy. Yeah, I get it. I get the wind. I've been to the beach. I've been to the Florida. I mean, it's been a really long time. I've been there. I get it's windy. Yeah, I understand. I would. It's very windy. But like the further inland you go, how are we still getting right? Really, really, really strong winds. And I'm talking like today we had like. I think it got up to like 35 mile per hour wind yeah. gusts. And, and we get tornadoes around here a lot too. And we're not yeah. even in like, because we're supposed to be in like a more of a valley type. Yeah. Where we're supposed to be safer from tornadoes. Yeah. But we get tornadoes a lot. Like, I don't know how many times a year we have to wet, go, like, take shelter. Take cover. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I don't explain know. that. Wind god or whatever. Hmm. I don't know. Wind is just something. And yeah, how you can sit and watch the trees too and like, some leave, one tree's blowing one yes. way and the other one's blowing the other way. Or or one tree's not blowing at all. Yeah, completely One still. tree is completely still and the one right behind it is whipping around like it's about to fall. Yeah. The other day I was sitting on the porch and the branches from one tree were waving like crazy and my wind chimes were still and all the other bushes were fine. It was like a I, little bitty gust of wind in a pocket. I couldn't explain it. I, Maybe just, it was ghost. I don't know. But it was fucking weird. It was a wind ghost. <laughs> Maybe. It's a possibility. Maybe they're wind spirits. Okay. You ready for the next one? Oh, I'm ready. Or do you want to do one? Oh, I mean, if you want to t- move from wind into farts, farts really that's do good, confuse that's me. A good segue. <laughs> okay, farts. I'm a little windy today. How come some people can fart and some people can't? Like, I mean, like some people can get. Re- I know it's all comes down to like your gastric juices and your right, digestive system, and how your body but, digests food. But like, I would feel so much better if I could fart like a normal person. But some people just like, oh yeah, no problem. I can fart all day long. I know this is not, like, a serious problem, but, like, I think about it a lot. Like, if I could get it out, I could feel so much better. Maybe you should... Once like, again, the wind within my system is so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm an air sign. Oh, I didn't mean to smack the... I smacked the cord there, sorry. It's fine. Anyway, farts are not serious. That was not something I wanted to talk about. It's just on my mind, and wind made me think of farts, so... Okay. That's good. <laughs> Weather in general is fucking weird, right? Yeah, agreed. I mean, I get that you have different, like, weather patterns. Things can come up out of nowhere. But even the meteorologists, like yesterday, we had no idea there were going to be storms. We were watching we the weather. We didn't have any idea there were going to be storms this morning. Right. And then all of a sudden, They boom, came out of storms. nowhere. Like, they were not in the forecast. I have a theory that the meteorologist, and if you are a meteorologist, I apologize. I am not knocking your job in any way shape or form but like you're never right bro like you're (laughs) there's no way anyone can possibly know like i mean yes i know they study i know they have like ways to study and measure right but there is so much that happens unexpectedly see i have a theory with that i think like because like i feel like back in the day like even when we were kids or teenagers like a storm's coming that storm came right you know they were more like the weather would come on but i think Back then, they had one form of communication giving all the weather stations, yeah, like one scientific weather hub, right, giving all the weather stations in the America information. Now we have four, yeah. So now he's saying this, she's saying that, he's saying that. So this weather station's going off this one, and this one's going off that one, and this one's going off that one. And I know a lot of them kind of do their own thing also. So it's kind of like what that person perceives when they look at a radar. Right. So, like, you could look at it and say, yeah, it's going to miss Right, just like you could put four doctors together to have a diagnosis, and they're all going to have different ideas. Right. But he's going to miss Main Town. But then the other girl sees it, the other meteorologist sees it and is like nope we're hitting main town so it's like what the hell do you believe and it's like it's subjective so why do you even forecast at all you listen to this radio station i listen to this radio or i'm sorry weather station or weather channel i listen to this thing because what we have like four or five just in our small area that we can look at Mm -hmm. so yeah it's just confusing and i I agree weather is question mark we can just come and go and i spe- especially living in the area we do we get our weather our weather fluctuates so much anyway it's, it can be 100 degrees one day and literally down to 60 the next and our springs and falls oh my gosh in, in spring and in fall we can experience freezing temperatures yeah rain storms snow warm-ups all in the same week all in the same week yep. or the same day or two we get to where we don't know what to put on our kids Literally, like oh the end gosh. of the school year i didn't know what i to struggle send. so much we wake up I with always... frost and by the end of the day it was so hot yeah, and I, I, was I always ask my husband what should the kids wear today because I, no I don't idea. know what to do i guess just yes. send them in layers and they can strip down as they go i don't know 
But I don't know. I don't know where has like really like constant, consistent weather. I don't know where. Fiji. <clears throat> Really? Let's go. No, I don't know. It just sounds like a really good place to go. Yeah. I mean, it is surrounded by ocean, so you would have a little wind, but I understand that wind is justifiable. I get your wind. I'm Fiji's on an, an ocean. island, right? It's an island. I'm pretty yeah, sure. It has to be. Is it not? I, I don't know. I'm asking you. Oh my gosh. I, really I don't, don't travel a lot, but I assume oh. it's an island, and the thought of being on an island scares me a little bit. I don't. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, no. Um, You don't worry that some big ass fucking wave's going to just like engulf the island and like that's it i really don't know because that doesn't happen so i don't don't know why that's a fear okay it is an island so we're right i was right it is an island (laughs) i literally had to look that up because i'm like wait i just made me think about islands and but no i'm not scared of anything no because it doesn't happen or you ever think like okay so i'm on this island it's beautiful i'm enjoying it but like uh oh, the fairy can't run and the planes won't come out here and now I'm stuck here forever. They literally make horror movies about that and you should probably not watch them. If oh, it's I've watched fear. some. Yeah, oh, okay. but There's I'm thinking like from. theoretically speaking, like there are islands I would love to visit. There's tropical places I'd love to visit, but like my brain tells me you may get stuck there and you may not be able to come back. Not like yeah. deserted islands. I'm talking like, you know, big islands. But like we were looking into traveling to Puerto Rico one time because I, I would love to go to Puerto Rico. And it's not that far from, like, Florida. But to get there, there was, like, <laughs> there's, like, no way to get there sometimes. Like, you, you can, yeah, you... you can take your plane to Florida. You would... Is it, like, a ship situation where you have to get on a boat? Well, I was, well, my thing was I didn't want to fly. So I was, like, oh, if we drove to Florida and then took a ferry. But I don't think they do ferries anymore. Now, this is a while back when I was looking. So I guess we would have to fly. I don't know. My point is just that. I don't like not being in control of my travel. And that brings me back to travel in general. Another thing that confuses me. And now I think it might be my subconscious blocking me from being able to travel. Are you talking about your travel curse? Yes, my travel curse. Anytime my husband and I or we take the kids anywhere, anything, something happens. The car breaks down. Someone gets sick. Something crazy to where we end up having to come back early or our trip gets delayed or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. we were, It's already starting. We planned a trip with my parents to take a trip. Just mm-hmm. a five, six hour drive. And we're already, things are just getting in our way already. Like, is it because in my mind, maybe I don't want it? I want to travel. I want to experience new things. I want to see new things. I want to take the kids so out. You- you think you're, like, subconsciously putting your energy maybe into the universe, and the universe is like, okay, you don't want to go? I'll give you reasons not right? to go, bitch. Like, so, that's what I'm afraid. Maybe I'm doing and I don't realize it, because I want to go. I'm excited. I want to get out and see things. But maybe, like, my stress of, like, planning and all my worries about being away from home. Okay, I'm but, not agoraphobic, but I don't like to be away from home for too long. So maybe I, in my brain, I'm like, if I get too far from home for too long... But here's my question. Like, I feel the same way, but we travel yeah. a little bit. Not, I like you said, close, just not super, super far, like four or five hours. And I've never. Right, never had an we've issue. We've never had an issue. And, like, the trips that I've had the biggest issues on were ones that I was really excited about. We had plans, like, I was all in. You know, like, I don't. So I don't think it's me, but it's also been a thing since I was little. It's not like it just started as an Maybe adult. Maybe it's, so. like. Like a family curse. Yeah. I think we've probably talked about this before in a previous episode a little bit. It's okay. But, yeah. It's an issue for me. I want to see things. I want to do things. But I feel like every fucking time I make plans to leave this fucking state, something happens. <laughs> Maybe you like should what? leave the state. I don't know. But I want to. I want to, Are too. we trapped here? <laughs> it fucking feels like it, don't oh, it? Oh, <laughs> gosh. But anyway. Okay. My next thing is traffic. Oh. Gosh. Like, stand still traffic. Do not get me wrong. I understand a car accident. Right. I understand they happen. I understand they have to shut shit down. Right. 100% get it. But why are... No car Like, accident. rush hour type thing? Anything. Why are we moving at two miles per hour? Why aren't we all going fast? Like, it's... I, I don't like the traffic. Right. Like, who decides first that I'm going to slow down to a standstill so no one else behind like, me Like, what move. has to happen? Other than the accidents, I understand the accidents. We have to shut shit down and we right. have to stop. But, like, no accidents. Like, but just, like, regular happened. rush hour. Like, what Literally. makes... Why are we going so damn slow? Like, make it make sense. Like, why can't we all just go fast? Because everybody always goes fast in the world. Right. Like, 
Why can't we go fast? Like when I don't do interstates, we've already touched on that. But when I was a kid, we were going to canoeing. We were going to go canoeing down Current River. And on the way there, we were driving two miles an hour down the interstate for like three hours. Why? Why are we going this slow? There was never any sign of an accident, anything. It was just like. No road construction, no accidents. Exactly. Something that would like make sense to delay it. It's like, why are we going so fast? fucking slow and it's not like oh a traffic lights jammed or something because it's like no, you're being on, on the highways and interstates you're yeah. you should be moving consistently right and then that's another thing for me like i don't i don't like interstates anyway but what if i get stuck and i have to poop like you pull over and shit on the side of the road i guess I in know. the middle of the interstate <laughs> I mean, why not i mean how do people with like say crohn's disease or like they probably avoid sick- situations yeah. like that like smartly like that's just, the kind of stuff know. i think about though and that's why if i travel long distance i would almost have to have like an rv because i don't like yeah i think i'd have to have an rv i need a turlet on the rad with me because i don't know i don't think i've ever had to poop that bad well i i have while driving but i made it home because i was in town but i don't think i've ever had to do that on the road right but i'm sure a lot is that not an issue for a lot of people who live in big cities like I'm on my way home from work. Oh, shit. Got stuck in traffic and I have to shit. What do I do? Do you just shit your pants and just, like, hope that you I make mean, it I'm home sure before you see people? I everybody has a different story about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, everyone has a different... Uh, I mean, like, I have are they just, like, gripping the steering wheel, just praying listen, to the poop listen, gods? I have never thought about that before. Really? Never. Oh, my god! So, most people probably don't think about it. So, like, maybe their body just and knows. And it's not even, like, an issue I've ever had myself. Right. It's just something I wonder. Body like, knows. I worry for the people who have to poop a lot. Maybe their body just knows not to go poop in maybe. that moment. And, like, their body's just like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do this to you right now. Now, I'm not going to lie. We were driving last weekend. <laughs> I was driving. My husband was, it was, like, an hour and a half drive. And I got halfway and I had to pee so fucking bad. I was like, oh, I'm good. We got 10 miles to the next exit. I'm good. I'll make it. Right. I had to pee so fucking bad. I was shaking. I was gripping the steering Why wheel. Just pull over and pop a squat. <clears throat> we were on the highway. Like Get off the highway. Find a small town. I yeah, mean, I guess I could have done that. You really could have done that. But I was like, in my head, I'm like, I got 10 minutes. I can do this. I did. I made it. But you ever get to the toilet and you have to pee so bad that you're like. <laughs> your teeth hurt? When you start peeing, your teeth hurt. No. Oh my gosh! Have you never had to pee so bad while I've on the had road to, to work? So bad. When you but... finally go, you're like, oh my god, my teeth hurt. But it's no, the weirdest but listen, feeling. If I have to pee, like if I'm driving a vehicle and I have to pee, I will find somewhere to pull over. Now, if it had just been him and me, I probably would have. But I we had like, like my I... brother, my mom, and we we're like a convoy. Like, oh, so well, it was like you know your way home. True. That's true. I mean, you yeah. just find a restaurant, find a McDonald's, find a gas station, yeah, pull over and go pee, and you know, hit your little walkie talkie. Hey guys, going pee. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, if it, yeah, that could have been. You just tried to test your own bladder and failed. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, that was I so think I had a small bladder. That's um nothing to do with things I don't understand. I understand why I would have almost peed my pants. It's because I didn't stop. <laughs> but <laughs> okay, let's get back on track here. Something else I do not understand: Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Yeah. How do you make how you give me a box? I plug it in, and now everything I have has internet access. Is it like? Satellites it doesn't matter what you're going to tell me. I don't get it. Yeah. How can that little box Signals provide my televisions, my Alexas, my right. cell phone, my computers, my everything, and give it power? Like, I don't understand the connection situation. Right. And you can go hand in hand with Bluetooth. I don't get that yeah. either. That's something I've honestly never thought too far into. I, I just I it's there and I use it and it works. And yeah, I never really and thought about it. I don't I don't understand how, yeah. what, why, when, or where. And I, I've looked up how does Wi Fi work and I you know, it gives me the great explanation. But no it don't. Like I don't right. get it. Like I cannot it's, I cannot it's gotta be like a frequency thing, right? Like a energy thing. Uh, sure. Frequency maybe? I don't know. I don't understand it and I don't That is I, fucking weird. I don't get it. And then there's like all of a sudden we have it. And then we and don't. Like today it. it was just shut off out of nowhere. Like, well, that was because there was a power outage. Right. But, but like, why was there a power outage? Yes, we had storms, but they were way over when that happened. I don't. Getting know. into that again. Yesterday my water shut off for no reason. Today my power shut off for no reason. Then my. I paid my bills, people. Paid my bills. Well, nothing happened to my house, so I think it's just, like, the it's location you live. It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me. Okay. What is my problem? Uh, um, do you have another one you'd like to Sinkholes. A sinkhole. Yeah. Like, they're all around here. They're all over the place. 
I don't know about everywhere else, but they're all around this Are little area. Are you talking area. about where the ground falls in out yeah. of nowhere? Yeah. Okay. Have I we did talked not... about this before on here? On the here? Yeah, maybe. I can't remember. But um, yeah, they're fucking weird, dude. Like, just it looks like a hole. Wait, they're around here. Yeah. We have sinkholes. Yes. In our town. Uh huh. Well, right around where I live, I know there are. I know a girl that lived just down the road, and she sent me a video one time of a sinkhole in her yard, so fucking big. Okay, when? A year or so ago. Okay. Yeah. She's like, look at this, dude. It's going to swallow my house. Like, it it was so big, like, her kids couldn't play near it. Yeah. Why have I never... And my mom grew up down the road a couple blocks, mm-hmm. and there was one so big in their yard that my grandma's friend's car went nose first into it and stood straight up in the air. So where'd it go? It, they, I guess they pulled it out eventually. Excuse me. But, like, had it kept going down, I don't know where it would have gone. And that's where I get confused. Like, where do the sinkholes end? What do they actually go down into? Like, I know there were a lot of mines around here years ago. Okay. So, maybe it's something to do with the mines. But How does one form? Do you know? I don't know. Are these... A- Excuse me, are That's these, like, all the questions you have? Like, yeah, like, okay. I Okay, I've never thought about a sinkhole before. I'm sure before. it has to do something with mines, with the mines. Or just, like, a big hole underground, essentially. Right. Like, what what causes them, and why do they, how deep do they go? And then... Can they go all the way to the core? Oh, my God, new fear. <sighs> Unlocked. I don't... I've never thought about a sinkhole in my entire life, so now I'm going to go home I mean, and it's and different this. than, like, when I was little, I thought about sinking sand a lot, like, you know... Sinking, yeah, sinking that's sand. different i just sunk because i played a lot of day. that was fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah when you mm-hmm. told me about that i started like going back to my childhood because i played a lot of video games oh me too that and played, had you know, sinking you to, sand you can't you go in the sand you die right you're just, you're just like just sinking by. done yeah Honestly, I felt like that was going to be more of an issue as I got older. Like, I thought I was going to experience <laughs> Like, we just thought those sand. were going to pop up everywhere. Yeah, but they never <laughs> did. So, like, like, I've yet to see any sinking like, sand. Like, I remember specifically, like, I don't know where I was or who taught me this, but, like, if you're in sinking sand, you hold real still. You don't move yeah, a lot. Yeah, the like, more you move, the more it, like, sucks you in. I don't... I remember being told that, too. So, like, like I feel like it was I more never... widely talked about when we were younger like that's weird right? okay wow. i wonder why the things you forget I mean, I know. you just remember everything all at once <sighs> okay i'm gonna bring it back to weather a little bit something yeah. else i don't understand humidity yeah how it can be so fucking dry one day and then the next day it's like super fucking and dry. how like okay like i've been to las vegas before right so, like, like I just got that dry. A 90-degree day, I had to have, like, a light jacket on. Yeah. You know, maybe not Because 90, it's hot, 85. but it's not humid hot. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And you're you're right next to the desert. Right. To me, the desert is, holy shit, balls, it's hot. Yeah. But then where we live, we don't live anywhere near a desert. Right. But the humidity is so bad, you can't breathe. Right. And is it location? Is it because we're near more lakes? Is it because we're... There's so many things. And I know, yeah. like, the further south you go, like Florida and stuff, that's a different kind of humidity. But, like, why? 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 Right. Why isn't humidity just humidity? Yeah. Like, it's different everywhere. And that confuses the shit out of and me. And it's different every day. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Okay. Um... My absolute last one. I saved the best for last because I don't care. I don't care. You can explain it to me. You can give me a PowerPoint presentation. I will not understand this. Do you know what it is? Is it the direction thing? Directions. How some people... Like north, south, east, west. Right. Like... So to sit here right now, you don't know that... I have absolutely no east, west. fucking clue which way is what. I don't care what you say. So if I said like... Walmart is to the west. Nope. I know what street Walmart's on. Okay. Okay. But it goes further than just I don't know the directions. Okay. Like, hmm. We moved recently, correct? Mm -hmm. I mean, not recently. At the end of last year, we moved. So my house sat on North Blank Street. That was my address. North 123 North Blank Street. Okay. North. North. My house faced north. North, okay? Right. We moved to a house on North Blank Street, okay? My porch, I don't care what you say. You're already looking weird. 
my porch is facing a different direction than my old porch did. I'm closing my eyes. You're talking which porch? Okay, the front porch to the old house mm-hmm. versus the front porch to the new house. I just hit my head out. Both facing the same direction. No, have. they're not. No, they're not. That one faces this, no, that way. The one in town faces this way. The one out of town faces that way. I'll die on the hill. I don't care what you say. Me and my husband get in arguments about this so but, much. Okay, so where does the sun rise and set in your yard? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> My brain. So you're just saying that's what your brain says. My brain cannot comprehend that it's facing a different way. It cannot. In your head, can you tell yourself that, like, I know that the sun is rising in the east. I know that it's setting in the west. Nope. Not at all. So if you were, like, out in an open field of lots of windy roads and you saw the sun coming up, you wouldn't be able to tell yourself that that's the east? No. Really? No. Huh. That would be so where like when someone up. says, "Hey, just like go north and then turn no. east." Uh, no, you would have to have like landmarks or. Yeah, I think a lot of women are probably like that. I don't know. I'm but not listen. like ju- I'm a woman. I'm not judging women, but I th- it's something men like have this directional. I have it. Luckily, I have it. But most most women I talk to don't have a directional thing in their That's head. That's not like, even what it is. Like I know north, south, east, and west. I know if I yeah put a map in front of me, right. I know which way is north, which way is. East right. I, I but to that. like just know in your head where you're at I at that have, point. I, like I know where the North Star is. I can follow it. I can find the North if I need to. But I don't know if it's because I don't feel like I have a need. Like why do I need to know which yeah. way is North? Like you never like got lost out in the country and your phone's dead and you don't have a GPS and you just have to go off intuition. I find and my way home. The... Like I just yeah. know where to go. I mean, like even if I'm lost, yeah, I will eventually, yes, I've gotten lost in the middle of nowhere before, like, driving, especially as a teenager. You drive yeah. on the country roads and, you know, So you just do go off things, like, into, and, you know, whatever. <laughs> Intuition, but, um, then, you just kind of figure it out. Or... I will eventually find a road where I know how to get home. That's okay. how I get home. Phone okay. dead, don't matter. I'll find a way home. But you or, wouldn't think that, like, you know, my house is north of here. I know that. I came south, so I have to go back north. You, that wouldn't cross your mind is what you're saying. The directions have never been in my brain okay. unless somebody says them to me. Okay. It's weird. I wonder how many people are like, I'm curious. This is not something I talk to a lot of people about, so I don't know. Directions don't come up a lot, but I bet there's a lot more uh, and, people out there like that. back than... to the porch thing. I can't get over it. Hmm. I don't know how to stress how much, and like what you just said about the sun and everything. Yeah, yeah it makes sense because it does the same thing. Right. But in my brain, I know with all my being that I'm facing a different direction, but I'm not. I'm facing the same damn way. But it doesn't matter. Hmm. My brain cannot wrap itself it around it. Compute, yeah. It cannot. Like, pictures have been drawn for me to, like, understand. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I cannot. And I'm not doing it to be dumb. I'm not doing Almost it Almost like be- it's a block. But that you don't, if you don't feel like it's important, then I guess it doesn't matter, really. As long as you're getting where you need to go, you know. But I've never been one. Go east on... Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. No. See, I am Tell a... me to turn left or right and we'll get there. Yeah. Like, I don't. I've noticed that when a woman gives me directions, they usually say, like, oh, you turn right past this store and you turn and left past that. East or west. If a man, see, yeah. my husband's always like, yeah, we're going to go east on this road and west That's on that road. And I'm like, too. Mm, But no. I think mine's a lot. One, I'm a lot like my dad and my dad taught me how to do directions. But right. I also think it's just like, it's how my brain works, maybe. But a lot of people don't think like that. So I, there's a lot of people who don't have directions. There's another like, thing, too. Like, if I hold a compass, like, okay, I have an iPhone. So on my phone, I have a built-in compass. Right. I can hold that thing, and it can tell me, say, I'm going to point away, and it is not going to be correct. So do not judge me. That's north. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> it's less. But that's north, okay? Just okay. say, that's north. Right. My compass will show me that's north. No, the fuck it's not. It to just me, can't make sense. Anymore. North naturally feels. Wonder if it's like an way. internal compass thing. It's just like clouded That's or something. That's fucked up. Yeah. Like she or maybe don't, you don't have an teeter totter. Well, you do because you get places. You get where you need uh, to go. Yeah. I've re- I've never gotten lost where I couldn't find my way. Right. Home or out or somewhere. Maybe I know. your intuition takes over your internal compass. Like you don't need the directions because you know you just know. I don't think I have an internal compass at all. Hmm. Like That's I don't. Interesting. And I don't know how. to But you always know it. where to go. 100%. You, even if you don't know why. Even if I'm in a town I don't know. Yeah. Or a place I don't know. Yeah. I can figure it out. Yeah. You know That's good. I, mean? I guess then it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't right. matter then. It's just. But I it is can't... interesting. Because, like, I feel like we think a lot alike and we right. act a lot alike. But yet, 
our brains still have so many differences that that's just crazy. Yeah. Like to th- to think to not be able to sit here. Yeah, to not know the directions. Like wait, which way did I point? Because I pointed that. That's way. west. And you just sitting there as a human, you just know that's west. Yeah. How do you know that's west? Like what? Do you think of a map? Uh, or do you just no. fucking know? Well, like here in this spot, I just know. I know that. Okay, so if you were in my house. back that way. Okay, if you were in my house right now, if we mm-hmm. were sitting on my back porch and I pointed a direction, could you tell me what way it was? South. I, uh, I, I'm just saying if I was like that way, could you tell me? Oh. If we were in a probably, different location that's not your comfort zone. Probably. I'm, I might have to think for a second, but yeah, I think so. I mean, it's not always, a lot of times How? I do, sometimes I do have to stop and think like, okay, which, which way does the sun come up and which way is this, you know, whatever this store is or this So you think is. of like towns. Sometimes like, I okay, have to this get this town think. is north, yeah. this town is south. Sometimes I do think I of it that, that way. way, but sometimes I can just say it. I don't know. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me either. So that's west. Yes. And that's north. Yes. No, it's not. That's north. <laughs> In my body, that is north. East is that way. No, it's not. Because <laughs> I know when I'm driving east in the morning, that sun is so It doesn't bright, matter what you're so. about to tell me. That is north. <laughs> uh, In my soul. Because I tell people a lot of times, like, oh, yeah, I live north of the blah, blah, blah. And they're like, wait, which way is that? Are you, like, before or after? And then I'm like, oh, wait, not everybody thinks think like that. I think directional, like, directions kind of go out the window these days. Yeah. I don't think they teach them like they Especially, used to. yeah, because now everything's digital, but, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, arms in the air. <laughs> I just raised my arms. Like, okay. But, so, like, in school when they taught us directions, because we learned about maps right. and compasses and, you know, blah, 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 all that stuff. I sat there, like, uh, I could not comprehend it. Hmm. Like, I, I'm not a super smart person, but, like, I get things. Like, yeah. I can understand simple concepts. I can't. Yeah. I cannot put my brain around it. I cannot do it. And it drives me crazy that I can't. Now, when I start getting confused with directions, when I start thinking about the Earth being a round sphere, then, like, how far north is north? And then at what point is it not north anymore? You know what I mean? Like, we know, like, Canada is north. But once you get up to Canada. Isn't it like Antarctica? Yeah. I mean, I like in my head, I know the way that the globe works. Right. The way okay. that like the countries are set up. But if you keep going north and then you come back around. And I don't know what my point is. Just that like directions don't make sense after a certain point. You know what I mean? So, like, you're saying if you're traveling north for so long, do to do I'm going north, which apparently I'm going east because I don't know the <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm totally going the wrong way. But anyway, I just travel for so long that there's no more north to Right, go. like, I've gone so far north, so, now I'm coming south again. Like, it's a circle. So, essentially, wouldn't you just still be going north since you're moving that direction? I guess. I guess it's probably positional wherever but you're at. Then, but then, okay... I am sure there's somewhere on uh, in our world, like the poles. Right. Like, would it not be, wouldn't that compass be going wonky? Because right. at one point you're going north and at one point you're going Right, and with the way that the, ro- the earth rotates, which I guess it rotates and axis is around and not up and down. But still, like, okay, so you're moving east. Ooh. It's going around, it's going around. At some point you're just, you're just going around and around and around and... I don't know what I, I'm not high. I swear to God, I don't. Know. <laughs> I think we've just like confused oh, our brains so much now. Oh I don't gosh. even know anymore. You know how you say that one word so many times that word is no longer yes, a word there to is you. A wor- there is it a is word like for this. that. There's a term for that. Yeah. There. It, this is this. We have talked like we're so we're confusing ourselves because <laughs> we're like trying to wrap our brains around at the same time we're talking it. But I'm still telling you right now here today. I still don't understand it. Yeah. It don't matter. And I feel like this episode just makes us sound like a couple of dumbasses that don't know anything. I swear, we know things, but some things just, just you don't just make You cannot sense. wrap your brain around some things. And I think I've had a lot uh, more than you because, like, I don't know. I don't know why, but. Well, I feel like I'm constantly telling my husband, tell me why. Explain to me. Will you just explain to me? Because he can. He can explain time. so much sometimes that I just yeah. can't logically. Like, I'm smart, high IQ, whatever. I can understand. But I, there are some things I can't logically get. And he has to explain. He has to, like, 
tell me how something makes sense because I just can't wrap my mind around it. Well, I do that with like certain things. Like I have to have a visual essentially, yeah. like, or I have to read it. Like if somebody's telling me directions and they're like, okay, we're going to go north on this road and east on this road, which I don't know those anyway. But like, if I'm not looking at that, I will not know. Okay. Yes. Say left or right. I'm the same way. I'm more of a, I have a to visual learner. read it or see it. Myself. If someone's just like telling me something, yeah, I will no, remember the no, last, exactly. the very last bit of it. Exactly. If someone says run to the store and grab me milk, bread, and eggs, I'll remember eggs. Yeah. But I won't remember. Like, it's well, just, see, that's always I'm been ba- I'll for remember me. to run to the store. Yeah. <laughs> but what you told me to get, poof, went right out that yeah. door. It just, just like went if, right Yeah, through. if you give me something with directions, I will remember maybe the very last end of it. Or I'll mix it all together. Right. It's a problem. So, yeah. That was a great side quest. Right. It's fine. We did great. Okay. <laughs> so, if you need to contact us for any reason at all, you can visit us. Visit us? <laughs> you can contact us at... Only, Only if you, you can, can keep, keep up, up at gmail.com. Gmail. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.